Welcome back to this Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn Let's Play. You're with Seraphis Thrall and Sambo and joining us here as always in the heart of Gridania. Under the green canopy is distant world including that thong wearing Merrick. G'day sir, how are you? I'm good. Hold on a second. I have to change clothes really quick. Why? I was getting a bit... Uh, <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, oh, don't, <laughs> hang on. Okay, I'm slow on the uptake there because I didn't even get... You could have actually slipped into your thongs there and it would have caught me completely off guard. Look, everyone's saying no, no, no. In fact, already I can tell you're making Sarah... Look, she's crying just at the thought of it. Catella, I could hear you in the background there. How are you? Good. How are you today? I'm very well. Look at you. What on earth are you? Well, oh, thank you for the pat, by the way. G'day, Jinx. Thank you for that comfort. You look amazing too. But firstly, Catella, what are you wearing? You look like a stately English gentleman. I know you're a female character there, but <laughs> what is going on? It's amazing. What have you got on? This is my weaver AF. I just dyed it white. Wow. Look, you always, oh, what am I saying? You, everyone around here always looks, look at me, folks. Look at me. This is how not to wear armor in a Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn. I'm Mr. Bad Banana, as I think it was EP called me the other day, or maybe it was Blind. I'm a rotten banana. I mean, you're wearing the gold there, Merrick, but you look fantastic. Oh, good lord, Jinx, now you look like Captain Flash or something. How are you, by the way, Jinx? I'm doing good. good. Here's the rest of your banana suit. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's the bit I'm missing. Do you want to swap? Well, I, I really do feel like a completionist, and I need to... Oh, speaking of completionists, goodness me, I'm just going to quickly wander over here, because look who I can see wearing bright pink, riding a sparkling unicorn, Cutie McSnuggles. Oh, my Lord, are you feeling okay, Cutie? Oh, I feel great. Do you know what? You're, it's hilarious because your character has frozen on my screen in the ta-da! Welcome. Hang on, let me do the emote I'm talking about. Your character... Oh, you're going to laugh. Mine is frozen right there too, right? Oh, oh so it's not me. Yeah, yeah, like that. There you go. You look like oh, that. Oh, mine too. Look at that. Okay, that is yeah, classic. Yeah, me too. There you go. Or I don't know how you... Hacks. I'm just going to leave it like that forever. I think you should. I'm going to do a... There we go. A screenshot. Although a screenshot doesn't know justice. This is fantastic. It is QT Mix Snuggles! Is how you are introducing yourself it looks like. that is weird have you ever had that happen before Catella? <laughs> no okay you are unique you are a unique snowflake cutie is all i will say That's how <laughs> thank you <laughs> you're welcome good to see you here hello soundsy great to see you as well i think you're in the mumbles g'day hello Good to see you, and you're wearing my Marauder outfit that I used to wear until I got some gear made for me by Catella and Jenna, so uh, I know what it's like to wear that one. Look, you've got to let the little third buckle loose a little bit, or it chafes just under the boob line, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you know exactly what I mean. Good to see you. Anyway, we've got Theresia, saviour of light, who's not in the mumbles there, but a big hello to you. Side saddle on the unicorn, Catella. That's just a neat little touch, isn't it, in this game, yeah. rather than just striding the horse. Uh, or Oh, wait a minute, no, so not all... Hang on, Cutie McSnuggles, apart from going, ta-da! And every time I see you, I'm going to go, ta-da! You're not side saddle, and neither are you, Jinx. You've got a horse firmly between your legs, and you can take that as you like. Uh, how come Teresa, saviour of light, Catella, is side saddle? I think it's a Hume only, a Hume female only thing. Oh, okay. Well, that's very, very cool. I like, again, the level of detail that we go into here in Final Fantasy XIV. Absolutely love it. Who else have we got around here? Let's see, we've got Great Monkey in the chats. And I think Great Monkey is the unpronounceable name. I'm just going to call you Mr. Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> Apollo will do. Apollo, a big salute to you. How are you, mate? I'm doing good. How about you? Yeah, not bad. Now, what class are you rocking at the moment? I'm Arcanist. Oh. Um, my Carmichael out is the Topaz Carmichael. It's the tank one. Oh, and, okay. That's uh, behind me there. There we go. Topaz. Yeah, because, of course, my yeah. little Arcanist, I've just got the... I think it's... Is it pink or blue? Or, hang on. How many colors blue. are there? It blue. would be blue. Right. So, hang on. What are they? So, what is blue compared to your tank and gold one here? The blue one would be more for damaging... Right. Okay. All right. So this is if I was playing WoW, and I don't know if you have played WoW or not, Apollo. But if you were a warlock, you would have your blueberry, and that's the equivalent. Did you ever play WoW? Uh, I played it to about level forty and then quit. Okay. All right. Well, if you never played a warlock, you won't know what I'm talking about. But for any of those WoW vets out there, this is the equivalent of a blueberry, and my one is the equivalent of a fire imp. So tanking versus DPS. You can also see in the background there, EP Moonshadow. Great to see them. And Catella. I have no idea. Look, I know they're not in the chat, but I know no idea what he's wearing. But it looks amazing. It looks like Pico list armor. 
Oh, oh, yeah, because of course, there we go. And he's put out the fist weapons there. But I love the diamond and stripe pattern. It looks very medieval. If you can hear me, Zen, that's awesome. And you know what? You're always one step ahead of me in this game. I hate you. No, I don't really. I'm just jealous. All right, well, do you know what? I know why we're gathered here. In fact, if I have a look on the map, you're going to be very proud of me. You're not going to trip me up this time, Catella, because I have done my homework. Okay, I have read up on your story notes for this episode. I I'm going to have this completely under control. We're not going to go off the rails, and I'm not going to make any mistakes. Cuff, cuff. De- <laughs> Somehow, I think <laughs> people aren't going to believe me. But I'm going to have a look at my map here, and I can see that we are near an area. In fact, there's a quest over there called the Tam Tara Deep Croft. Now, I know last week we ran a dungeon, and last week I tanked. And you said to me something like, look, you're going to have to tank again. So I'm all prepared for that. You can see I've put my banana suit on and everything. And in fact, how's this? I even went to Mother Meun, and she's already given me this quest, which is called Fire in the Gloom. And it says that it would seem that a cult known as the Lambs of Dalamud has been engaging in suspicious activity in the Tam Tara Deepcroft. Make your way to the burial site and ask the Quiver Man posted at the entrance for further instructions. Now, two things. I am ready to tank, number one. Number two, I came here, but I got kind of lost because over this way, I'm just going to peek my camera, by the way. Look how amazing it looks. Over here, all I can see is a whole bunch of barrow mounds, like in Lord of the Rings. In fact, do you guys mind? Oh, no, hang on. I'll go over there later. But I couldn't actually find the entrance, so I must admit I'm a little bit a little bit miffed about that. I didn't know how to get in because I can just see a bunch of gravestones. But I'm ready. I am ready to tank, just like you said last week. So how proud... Well, uh, what? One thing. What one thing? What do you mean? No, I'm ready. Um... Well, no. I, I think if you remember right, I told you you were going to heal this time around. Oh, oh man. Oh no. I've mentally prepared myself and sorted out my hotbar to tank. Did I get that wrong? So we haven't even started the dungeon and I've messed up. Is that what you're saying? It's okay. Okay, yes, it's fine, folks. That was uh, that was deliberate. Yes. Um, and it's so that I could go in here and show you how to change from a marauder to a... Oh, that's right, healer. Wait a minute. Mm, Makote. Conjurer. Conjurer. And I knew that as well. And there we go. I'm going to equip my conjurer outfit now <clears throat> i've already prepared for Catella, i haven't prepared for that okay i don't even know what gear i've got on or anything <sighs> okay i'm completely at a loss now i am unprepared and what do you mean i'm going to heal does that mean that one of these guys is going to be a tank for me well you got Ta-da! 14 standing up there so so Wait. you should Wait just minute. take a look at them and like maybe kind of think they're one of them well so someone standing here is going to tank for you. So go ahead and go ahead and look around wait. and see if you can guess. No. Wait a minute. So hang on a second. I've got, yes, well, there's a mark above Cutie Mix. Now, look, I'm zooming in on you, Cutie. And I've got to say, if I assess the situation here, you are two feet tall, dressed in bright pink. I know you get distracted by the ladies in the dungeons. You're stuck in a weird pose. You're riding on a miniature unicorn and you've got a ridiculous expression on your face. There's no way you're tanking. No. So, you know, if I was to say, who's the tank here? Oh, it's, that hurts my feelings. Well, no, there's just no way. I mean, from a tactical, strategical point of view, if I look at the four people that are lined up here, it surely can't be. Oh, there you go. You've, you've stopped your pose now, by the way. <laughs> just, just My arms were getting really tired. Yeah, I, I had to move. Even more reason why there's no way you can be my tank, because your arms are going to be tight. So let's move on to option number two. Sounsy, hello. You know what this is like? This is like like a dating game isn't it Soundsy? maybe i'm going to be choosing my date so let's see Soundsy likes long walks in the park enjoys a spot of fishing right. okay maybe not okay well you look like you could be a tank i mean yeah look at this i know that you're wearing tanking gear let's spin around have a look at the weapon on your back's very impressive although you haven't got a helmet so i'm not sure i want to be sending you off into a dungeon and having things hit your head ah oh, yeah i'm like i'm sorry but no 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 you're not the tank the this might if if Catella's making me choose who's the tank it's not you let's go over to the end here mm, Teresa savior of light well see Catella it surprises me that you say that she's a tank because I know I don't know what I'm talking about but she looks like she's wearing cloth armor so to my mind Catella that's not tanking gear is it are you saying that she could tank wearing what she's wearing now 
She actually does have tanking gear on, well, and that's actually pretty high-level tanking <gasps> gear. How then, in my... Let's face it, I'm not the smartest of the smart here, but to my mind, I look at that, and she looks more like a conjurer because she's wearing a cloth top. I mean, she doesn't look like a like a knight with, you know, 18 layers of heavy armour. Is that because I'm stupid? Or, I mean, in any other game, she wouldn't be a tank, surely. How does that work? It's just a different style. Wow. Okay, there you go, folks. Shows you that you can't take things for granted in this game but all the and same there's actually chainmail underneath i think oh is there still to my simpleton brain nah nah teresa is not gonna be my tank whereas if i go over to this guy this guy standing here who looks like the black knight from monty python with all due respect to everyone else here he looks like a tank thing i'm gonna get jinx i'm gonna get rid of my ui so that everyone can see i mean look at this he's got heavy plated shoulder armor okay he's got a tail sticking out there which could get lobbed off but if we zoom right in look at that he's got full face protection he's got two great big spikes sticking out of the top of his head he looks menacing and daunting so i've got to say based on all of the factual information presented to me aka looks i'm gonna say the jinx mcnin you are going to be tanking this as I heal. And there's my answer, Catella. Am I right? Well. <laughs> what? Wait. Okay. What? Wait a minute. So it's a no. No to Cutie McCutie. So you knew. Were you trying to egg me on there? Did you know it wasn't you? I might have known something about it. Oh, my Lord. Okay, look at you, by the way. Very cute. There it is. It's you are, I've decided, the spiritual, well, not successor, because Minnie will always be with us. But while Minnie is busy in real life, you can be our Minnie for us. You exhibit a lot of the same cheeky, short characteristics that she does. Yeah, Minnie, come back. We miss you very, very much. But cutie Did is... you ever think that I might be Minnie with a voice changer? Oh, my God. I never thought of that. Oh, mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. Mind blowing. But for the meantime, <laughs> Jinx, Jinx, how could you do this to me? You tri you got dressed up deliberately like that so that you would trick me into thinking you were the tank, right? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, all right, I see how it works. You tell the sad her. part is you missed out on my relic too. Oh, what, oh, you, oh my God, is that, that the, the weapon? Yes, <gasps> it is the Kurtana and it's actually plus one. Oh. I just have to get another item and I can plus one the shield as well. Oh my, I apologize. Do you know what though? It just goes to show how little I know about this game. That is amazing. Congratulations. When did you pick that up? Last night. Whoa. Okay. Now I'm sure anyone else who plays the game a lot and is watching this episode will have picked that up a long time. They're probably yelling at the screen going, oh my God, Sabo, you didn't mention it. I apologize, my friend. That is awesome. Congratulations. That's because I was you. hiding it before. I was well, that's true. surprised you with it. And do you know what? I actually don't want to know where you put it, but Anyway, it looks awesome when you do pull it out. So, well done. Your insides must be sparkly. Fantastic, and congratulations to you. Okay, so that boils it down to Teresa or Soundsy, both of who I said no. Hmm, well, even though you, Catella, have said that Teresa is... Oh, hang on a minute. No, okay. You know what? Because you are tricking me. You are tricking me, Catella, and I will not forget this. I'm going to say it's Teresa, because you mentioned something about the fact that she actually does tank wearing that gear. So even though Soundsy looks more like a traditional tank, in my opinion... There we go. I've got it. Catella, I am proclaiming that Teresa is going to be my tank as I heal in this dungeon, and I'm right, aren't I? Yes! Congratulations so, to me. Sambo. <laughs> okay, you... Now, all of these people are very, very established tanks. However, you don't get an established tank this time. Wait a minute. Wait. You're saying that you're tanking? I'm going to tank for you. You this are time. joking me. You guys all suck. You all suck. I will remember this. <laughs> I will absolutely remember this. It's not, I have a memory. Well, okay, I've got a memory like a goldfish. But for that brief moment of time, I will remember it. You are all terrible. As for you, Catella Avonlea, you, you. Okay, this is <laughs> you. I will bank that away. Believe you me. I can't believe it. This is fantastic because, of course, I never get to run with you i mean you're always behind the scenes slaving away this is fantastic so hang on you are a level 40 marauder then are you um actually i'm on paladin today. Paladin. oh wow oh this gonna wow you are setting yourself up for a hard time because you really want to have me healing you trust my abilities or lack that you realize if i look at my hotbar i've got stone arrow fluid aura 
As is long Suda? as you have cure on there somewhere. Well, I've got cure. I've got I medica. I thought you were the greatest healer. I, well, no, that's an Escalon jinx. Come on, we're a long way from home, Dorothy. Yes? Sambo, <laughs> Sambo you don't have to worry about it too much because I can back up heal. Oh, really? Oh, thank goodness for yes. that. All right, that's good. Because I've literally only got cure and medica. I've got a little bit of protect. And if I do that, I'm sure it's worse than what everyone else has. But that's it. I've only got two healing abilities. I can't believe... Oh, okay. Well, look, without further ado, we've wasted enough time there on my idioticness. I can't believe that. We will definitely be having words, Catella Avonlea. Hmm. Interesting. Cheeky, <laughs> cheeky. I'm just going to hop on my mount for a moment. Do you mind if we just, just ride around the corner here? Because I need you guys to help me out, right? So, if I run up here, then these Barrow Downs are very reminiscent. If you've played Lord of the Rings online, you'll know all about the great barrows this looks very familiar and looks a lot like that and these are all these graves right but i like i don't know if this is the entrance where i can see it on my map it's kind of like here where i'm standing is meant to be the entrance to this dungeon and unless i am blind or unless my game has bugged out i can't see it so help me anyone please what's nope, going on blind's not here but we're going back this way okay back to where we were oh uh. What? But that's not where the thing says. But it will be. Okay. Once right. we go down here. What? Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, if you're watching along from home, just ignore this entire video. In fact, maybe I'll edit it all out. What a moron I am. So I was on top of it the whole time. You've got to be joking. Oh god, here, wait, wait, I've got to gotta heal you guys! Ah! The pressure! Oh my lord! Okay, now, who is normally a healer around here? Is there anyone in the mumble who heals dungeons? Please speak up now. Anyone? I uh, sometimes. Okay, right. Okay, what is the biggest tip you can give me? I mean, obviously I'm going to be looking at my party list, basically, clicking on people who, whose health goes down. But, I mean, I have two heals. I have Cure, I have Medica, and I have a Cleric Stance. I'm assuming that should be off, by the way. Anyone help me out right. on that one? Yes, yep. that should be yes. off. Okay, there we go. Um, watch your hate meter. Make sure you don't pull too much hate from the tank. Right, okay. And do not overheal. Um, okay, so Cure 1 and Medica, I'm assuming, is all... It's an AoE heal of, like, line of sight or nearby people. Oh, Jinx, sorry. And are you not coming in, Jinx? Oh, how, how many people can fit in this dungeon? Four. Oh. Oh, okay, so who are the lucky, and I use that term loosely, the lucky four? It's Seraphis and Catella. We know. Oh, Cat <laughs> Merrick, did you draw a short straw as well? Yeah, I drew a short straw this time. Oh, man, this is hilarious. You guys. But at least I'm on a character that I can sort of partially heal myself with. <laughs> Your lack of faith is not disturbing. It's completely warranted in this case. And Apollo! Oh, man! This, oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, yes. I apologize to you guys. Look, hey, I know the rest of you guys have left the party, but stay in the mumble, will you? Because it'd be great to have you hanging around. Okay, so let's go through this before we head in. There is me. I am heels. We've got Catella, who I have all confidence in, who, ah, who is going to be tanking this one. We've got Merrick. What is your actual prime ability? Even though you can heal a little bit, what is your role? Roll in this dungeon. I'm a DD. DD, damage, damage dealer, dealer. DPS in any other game. And Apollo, what are you going to be today? Who, of course, is Great Monkey. I'm probably going to be a damage dealer at this party. Okay, all right. Well, I think we're about as ready as we're going to get. I mean, there's not much more preparation. You know, you, I am a fixed amount of clay, and you can only mould me so far. Uh, there's no point explaining anything more than you have. Let's go in here. So, look, what I've got is this quest. It says to speak with Quiverman. I don't see anyone around here called Quiverman. Come back this way. Oh, oh, over here. Uh, Sorry. Towards right. the shiny door. door. Okay. Actually, it's not shiny for you yet, is it? No, it's just a door. But anyway, here we go. God's quiver bow. Let's have a chat with him. You are Seraph's thrall when I take it. I am indeed. I, and I'll be your healer for today. No problem. No doubt the bow lord has already informed you, but your task is to enter the deep croft and purge it of the lambs of Delamud. And oh, God. Why did you make me party leader? This is terrible. Hang on. It's going to be your job to mark things though, right, Catella? Just like we learned That's last right. week. Okay, good. Can't believe this. This is going to be fun. In case you're unfamiliar with them, says this guy, the cult emerged shortly before the calamity put an end to the sixth astral era. The cultists took the lesser moon Delamud for their god, believing that it would deliver them from damnation. And so they were rather disappointed when, ex <laughs> when instead Delamud exploded. 
into a thousand flaming pieces before it could complete its descent. You know what? You'd have to be kind of disappointed about that, wouldn't you? Now, having seen their god turn to ash, just like older on, one would think that the cultists might feel moved to question their faith. On the contrary, however, it served only to stoke the flames of their fanaticism. Yes, much like Star Wars Galaxy's players, the Lambs of Delamud are convinced that heretics, that is to say everyone but them, interfered with the coming of their Lord and Saviour, and it's now their sacred duty to avenge him. Whatever it is they're doing to Deepcroft, you may be sure that no good will come of it. For the sake of Gridania and Eosea at large, put an end to their madness there we go and oh now it's shiny okay so use the duty finder to enter the temp oh is that why you made me leader because you want me to do all this housework right. stuff okay all right i'm gonna hit you i remember that there we go and oh look we've got sestasha and we've got the tam tower deep croft this is a higher level than sestasha i'm gonna tick that and i'm gonna say join and hopefully i'm guessing that you guys there we go class conjurer 40 seconds, let's commence checking the other member status. Three out of four, it gives us a, a little, oh, now who's who's deliberately hanging back? There we go. Um, so pay attention to what it says across the screen as we enter. Okay, like party, that's all. <laughs> well, keep watching, keep watching. Okay, here we go, bit of a cut scene, I think. Duty commenced one or more party members are new to this duty. A bonus will be awarded for swift completion of object. Okay, what does that mean? That means because you are new to this, uh, there's actually a bonus that we all get for completing this. Oh, wow. Okay, good. And now, hang on. Stay right there. It's going to get a screenshot while you're all in one piece because <laughs> it may not be that far. Look, can I just say, zoom, that camera zooming in around there, it looked absolutely incredible. Looks amazing in there. I've never, ever been in here. And, of course, you guys know I'm operating under a no-spoiler policy, so I'm not going in and watching the many, many great videos that are out there on YouTube land about these dungeons. And I'm avoiding them like the plague so that they're all a surprise for me. But, anyway, Catella, it's not me in the front actually it's you so there we go yep. it is the cultist orbs destroyed four out of four is that in 90 minutes my main objective for this run that is what we're doing first uh since you are the healer you get to start with protecting all of us oh right okay oh and by the way can i say i've also got rays when i was talking about my abilities that is before. good yeah so if anyone dies <clears throat> not on my watch yeah right okay so protect is up to me now sadly i know you guys can probably cast a much better protect nope, yours is best right oh, now really both physical and magic defense are enhanced there we go okay so now uh that's tick done what next? Okay, so now we start. Okay, whoa, she's off. Now, hang on, whoa, before we go, how do I put a focus? Like, if I click on you, it's going to show who you're targeting. But I can set a focus target as well, can't I? Uh, yeah, you should be able to hit, I think it's shift and F. By, by default, it's shift F, yes. There we go. Okay, so focus target. Now, can you please remind everyone, Jinx, what is that focus target and is it interactable? Uh, I don't use it personally because I play with a controller, so I can't set a focus oh. target per se. Right, good point. But I can do something kind of similar, and that's kind of allows you your main target and then you can switch to another target for one move and then it'll switch right back if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, what's happening, I can see Merrick explain, well, let me know if this is true. I'm going to target, say, Catella right now because let's say I've just needed to heal her, but I can see that she's got the, well, she's got a focus target. Well, it says there it's that I've set her to the focus target, right? Now, if I then say, oh, Merrick needs a heal, so I'm going to click with, on Merrick and pretend I do a heal now, does it just mean that I can easily click back to Catella by clicking on the focus target over on the right? Is that what it's for? So it's like no matter what I do, I can just easily get back to Catella? Or should I have that focus target Merrick set on a angry mob? Like, what's the point of it? Do you know? Well, 
for you, you should probably have it set to Catella because she's going to be your main focus. You want to make sure that, that she doesn't die because if she dies, chances are the rest of us are probably going to die too. Right. So by having it there, it just means I can always keep an eye on her and always just click on it very easily to get back to her. Is that what it's sort of set up for? Right. In a, in a four-man party, it's obviously not as, not as important, but when you're doing an eight-man party and have to look through your user list for the, the main oh, tank, right. it's probably, you know, it's easier to use the focus target on, right. on the main tank. Gotcha. All right. Um, other uses for it are for, like, the healer who can actually target um, the mob to see what they're casting to. That oh. way they can focus probably on healing. Right. Understood. Understood. Now, also, I'm going to embarrass somebody in the chat room there. It was very, very funny. Who said, party wipe, because they've obviously heard I'm healing. And then they've gone, oops, I hope not, uh, but it would be funny. It says, it says Taj Kuris. And Taj, if, oh, in fact, I can see you there in the viewing room. I think that's hilarious because I would say exactly the same thing and let's hope not as well but we'll put money on it we'll put a hundred gil on it there you go we'll see what happens okay that's me spitting and shaking hopefully you'll win anyway there we go I am ready Catella whenever you are and of course there's no ready check here but I am ready as I'll ever be with my two little healing abilities go for it <laughs> let's see what happens now I presume by the way and there she is that I'm going to be um, hanging at the background here because I definitely do not want to pick up aggro, do I, Jinx? No, no, you definitely do not. No. You can stay near me. What? What's that, sir? Uh, yeah. Stay near me because I'm a ranged uh, DPS. So. All right, so that'll give me a good idea of. Oh yeah, I thought I might be too far away, but it's not too bad, is it? Now, I presume Catella, I'm going to be sort of single target healing you because you're doing such a great job of retaining that enmity at the moment that no one else is getting any sort of splash damage but Catella if there was an unavoidable AOE from one of these mobs and especially I'd imagine oh well done there we go Sambo has more guts than me I refuse to heal there you go Taj thank you it's not yeah. guts it's the fact that Catella pushed me in this direction um and oh look at this it looks beautiful over there I'm just getting rid of the UI for a second which is fatal because I need to see it but I'm just going to get a couple of screenshots here because of course I'm here in as much as a tourist capacity it's anything else what an interesting looking dungeon Catella I guess it's a whole sort of network of graves and and stuff is it? it's amazing yeah no this is a fun one I like this dungeon look at it the detail level they've gone into here but anyway if there was an AOE damage dealing ability that fired off Catella and all of the members in our party got hit that's when I would use Medica right right yeah. you want to use that uh, liberally <laughs> like, yeah. well not you don't want to use it very often because yeah, yeah, uh, no. It's a waste of uh, my resources. And by the way, oh, yeah. Teresa, Saviour of Light, is saying good luck, Sambo. Thank you very much. Nibne is sailing, and whenever you're ready, by the way, I can tell, is saying uh, healing for the first time in a graveyard how symbolic. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. I think this could be where we're all going to end up spending a lot of time resting, if you know what I mean. Hopefully not. We shall see. Now, another point. Let me go down here. Cutie McSnuggles, you're in the chat room with us. But you tricked me and you're not here in the game. Whoosh. I mean, I'm looking at my resources, right? And resource management is as much of the game as anything else, I'd assume, when you're healing. Is that a fair statement? Oh, definitely. Okay, so you healed me last week. And by the way, you did an outstanding job. So I've got your actions to look to there as a guide. Remind us once again, for the total noobs around here, I've got three little resource bars underneath my character. One says HP, one says MP, and one says TP. For someone who has never, and by the way, I can tell, just go for it. If I'm not ready, I'll definitely let you know. And I think that's the responsibility of a healer, right? To say, hey, I'm not ready. So if you don't hear from me, please just consider it go. Um, Cutie, what is HP, MP, TP if you've never played a game like this before? The HP is your hit points, MP is your magic points, or some people call it mana points, and TP is totally awesome points. Oh, well done, you get 10 oh, internet nice. points. You get 10 internet points. No, of course they're called totally awesome points, Catella. You know that. <laughs> yeah, of course. She's having a fit, because of course they're not really. They are tactical points. But okay, hit points or health points. Cutie, explain to us in Sambo terms. Well, what is that exactly? What is a hit point? Well, it says I've got 326 of them. Uh, what happens if I have less than that? 
Well, if you've got less than that, you're okay until you get to zero, because once you have zero, you're dead. So it is literally my health bar in a game. Excellent. MP, in a mana points or magic points? What are they for? And is it a resource? And if so, what do they power? As a conjurer, it is your most important resource because it powers your healing spells. Oh, okay. So if I was to continually cast, 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 cure, and overheal, like I'm doing deliberately right now for no apparent reason, that would be a poor use of my 433 MP, right? Uh, definitely. Okay, and so Cutie, just on you for one more question to do with that. How do I know how much this cure costs? Where is it listed? On your hotbar, yep. right on the bottom left corner of the spell, it should show you how much it costs. Oh, 18. I thought that was something else. Because, oh, you're right. If I hover over the tooltip, it actually says MP cost 18. I did not know that. I thought that was a Another range Another useful number. thing about that, actually, is that uh, if that number is red, that means you're out of range to cast that spell. Right. Okay. Or you don't have enough of it to use. Oh, and thanks, another... Dude. Sorry if I may interject Absolutely for a second. Another reason to use... Another reason to use Medica sparingly is that it's a huge hate generator. Because oh. you're healing everyone, and each point you heal gives you half a point of enmity. Wow. Okay, good to know. So that's going to build up the hate. Build up the hate, and people will hate me even more than they already do. Okay, Cutie, thank you very much. And of course, both of those are very common in all of the MMOs that I'm sure we've all played. I mean, like maybe called something a little bit different, and there's a little bit of variation. Rogues use energy, maybe, etc., you know, etc. Et but you've got a resource and a hit point. Now, before we go on to talk about totally awesome points, Catella, at any point, interrupt me if there's anything interesting that's going on here. Uh, but I presume that you're also carefully picking which mobs you are pulling, right? Right. Trying to, though I messed it up a minute ago. Did you? I didn't even notice. Although I did notice, actually, Merrick, you took a bit of a hit. I had to heal you for the first time without making Catella feel bad. Was that because of a pulling decision that the tank made? No, it's because I actually hit a little bit too early and I took the hate. Ah, okay. And of course, again, you know, just because you don't have a tank or healing roll, or, you know, DPS or damage dealing, like we call it here in Final Fantasy XIV, is also something you have to be very, very careful about managing your DPS output. So, Merrick, if you don't mind, again, we're doing a bit of a dummies class tutorial here, I guess. So let's face it, a lot of our viewers are here for the first time in an MMO, and in fact, oh, look at this, we've got a treasure coffer. Cutie, if I remember correctly, you were saying that this is your very first MMO, right? Indeed it is. Right, so there's absolutely no harm in going through the basics because we were all noobs in one time or another. I'm in another dungeon, says Cutie, tanking while Sambo's asking me questions. You know what, you're doing very well <laughs> at, your, at your multitasking. That's fantastic. I can't multitask at all. So while we're talking about this, Merrick, let's talk about DPS. Now for a start, what does DPS stand for quite literally? damage per second. Right, so I mean, hell, if I, I could be wrong, but I'm guessing that that means the amount of damage that you are doing as an average per second. So, you know, if you, oh, look at that, Scarlet Rosebud is in the chat, and I think that's, along with totally awesome points, she's saying that it's deaths per second. And when we're talking about oh, my no. healing, oh, that is- really high with your healing, huh? Yeah, that's right, that's it, deaths per second. It'll be about, probably about three or four Tiger Hawk Rosebud, good to see you, by the way. So damage per second, Merrick, I'm guessing that, you know, if my spell or weapon does, you know, 20, uh, hits for 20 and it's on a swing timer of 1 per 60 seconds then you just literally do the, the math add in any buffs that we've got there and any multipliers and gear and all the rest of it and you literally mathematically just like all of the uh, combat in these games end up with a literal damage per second that is an average so I'm guessing that's what that is so am I fair to say Merrick that the higher your DPS sure the greater benefit and uh, Catella will talk about this group in just one moment the higher benefit it is to the party in terms of being able to chew through these mobs faster but Merrick like you just said before there is a down side that you have to manage so if you've got a very high dps do you just go in guns blazing merrick 
Um, not if you're not a tank, you shouldn't. No, because what is what is going to happen? Not unless you want to die early. Well, this is the thing. I mean, you've been talking about pulling the aggro. Catella, what would happen if, even if you pulled the aggro here, so you, you know, throw the first shot or whatever, but then Merrick opened up with everything he's got on your target. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing if he wants to survive because he'll pull all the hate on him because the way that the hate works i i have to do a couple things before i <laughs> can be ahead on the on the table and it's a table isn't it yeah. it's actually a damage and it, enmity table so you want to get yourself to the top of that and stay there what just you know pairing it right back here Catella, what is the consequence of you know let's say merrick either before you pull he just goes and starts you know going nuts on one of these targets here number one up there for example or even though you throw a tomahawk or something i don't know what the equivalent paladin ability is but get its attention and then merrick opens up 100 percent on it what is the consequence of that okay i mean the, he's going to get the mob's attention but what does that mean he's now tanking and he has less ways of mitigating damage than i do right so not he, only that but Catella's gear is so much better <coughs> equipped for taking damage and mine i mean i'm wearing basically cloth so when something right. hits me it's going to take a lot of damage out of me whereas something hits Catella, you know it's not going to be as as it's devastating damaging the impact is going to be less and of course that's because your gear is obviously magically infused so that you're casting high damage spells now of course that also means for a healer you will create a massive problem for me merrick if you did that because i'm going to have to heal you rather than healing the tank and it's going to cost a lot more of my precious resource that we were talking about before to heal you right correct okay all right well look we'll get on with the explaining I mean, of we the we can sh we can show you what'll happen really quick yeah, well um, oh. no thank you no, i don't want to because you know me i'm not the best tank so we'll all die but um you know, actually maybe that's something we could do one day merrick just how not to do this would be interesting but to look we're going to talk about totally awesome points and what i should be wearing and we'll have a chat to our little apollo over here as well and get some more dungeoneering tips but in the meantime we're holding up progress so could tell her, tell us what's going up up here and why have you marked these guys in the this specific order um i'm gonna take well i'm gonna try and target these in these order the center one is actually going to once he's gone then we get another mob oh really and we'll have to take that one out so is that why you're doing the other ones first because otherwise we'll just be generating more problems with mobs that are already here as well just seemed easier yep okay i'm having a sip of my tea so that's my real life manner now another thing i'm keeping an eye on at the top here is everybody's buff and it says that protect has got 15 minutes is that halfway through is it they're 30 minutes long these buffs yeah okay for right. protect all right okay so they're different but we'll leave that as it is all right well look i'm as ready as i'm ever going to be so Catella, go for it and let's see what happens here And another thing why you guys are fighting, just because I'm an established tank. Another thing, tanks have a way lower DPS than a DPS class, but they have special buffs in their combos to generate a lot of hate really quickly. Right, and you know, it's funny you should say that. I remember, I mean, I'm a fairly well-geared tank in World of Warcraft. Well, I was, um, and that's my main thing over there. And I remember getting into a pickup group once, and some guy had downloaded a damage meter, and there we go, there's the enemy approaching that Catella was talking about, by the way. He had a damage meter, and he was going nuts in the party chat saying, You're the worst tank ever. You're bottom of the DPS list. Oh my god, you suck. Blah, blah, blah. And it was so funny because, of course, the rest of the party, who were experienced well dungeoneers, were just laughing their rear off. Because, of course, you know, the only other person that should be worse than a tank on the DPS tree at same level should be me, a healer, right? Correct. Like, to put it for in a high-level dungeon, I've actually parsed out a fight. I do, on average, about 70, 80 DPS. Under me is the healer at around 17, if they're doing any DPS at all. Yep. And then all the damage dealers are doing anywhere between 150 to 200 plus damage. There but because go. of my combos, they're not going to steal hate from me unless I'm way below geared compared yeah. to them. Right, because that still would be possible in that situation. The green wood altar is no longer sealed. Whoa, are we yep. allowed to open this one here, or what do we yep. do? The orb? Go ahead or? and open this, and Mark's going to do the orb. All right, there's some goggles, and eh, I'll greet on those. 
there we go now what was that orb is that one of the orbs cultist oh so that's one out of four of the there we go there's the da -da -da -da. The victory theme is what I'm talking about. You don't want me singing it. One out of four. Okay, so is that about how long each... Well, no, of course, we've been stopping because I've been babbling. How long is this dungeon, Catella? Uh, I think when we started, we had 90 minutes. Yeah. Okay. But it won't take that long. Okay. All right, so... Oh, now, is there a view around here? Where are we, Great Monkey? Is there somewhere... I mean, I'd love to be able to have a quick look around before we carry yes. on. Yeah. We could look right over here. Look at All this, this area out here. Yep. We're uh, eventually going to be ending up at every one of these points that you can see. Oh, there's the all. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, okay. So we're just going to make our way around and get to these orbs. Do you know what this reminds me of? If you are a World of Warcraft player, you'll remember the old days of the Sunken Temple. Very, very similar vibe there. All right. Well, Catella, rather than bore everybody to tears with you know getting through a whole bunch of trash mobs, and trash stuff, mobs. Yeah, yeah. Should we just come back when we actually? Because I'm presume that was a boss, right? And we've probably got another cultist down there. Yeah, look at that. You can see it's locked off. So once we get to each orb, we can come back and film the boss fight, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's do that, folks. We'll be right back very, very shortly. Wish us luck. And welcome back, folks. Here we are sneaking through this little hole in the wall. We've made our way here. No deaths so far, Merrick. Are you impressed? Uh, yeah. One of the other things I did want to talk about before we get going, I can see up the top here, and let's see, we'll talk with Great Monkey. I've got a buff going called Protect, and it says that it's down to four minutes. So I, I, should I be casting that before this fight so that I don't use up any of my mana point resources during the fight? Is that a good idea? Um, yes, it is. So yeah, well, you can refresh the uh, timer on it. Oh, okay. So that way, if uh, the fight goes on longer than four minutes, then we won't run out of protect. Right, okay. There we are. All done. So buffed up before we engage. And that's it, Catella. Ready when you are, except for one thing. I noticed that during a couple of those fights on the way here, Cat, I was getting a little bit low on mana. Now, apart from the automatic regen, Catella, is there something I'm not doing in order to, you know, like how do I get mana points back apart from just sitting there and waiting? Well, at this level, um, if you had like an ether on you, you could use one of those and that would give you magic points back. Um, this level though, you're just starting out so you don't really have a bunch of tools to be able to get magic back. Uh, right. You kind of just have to be cautious. Right. Judicious of your use. I can see here, here we go, ether that you're talking about. I'm going to drop that onto my hotbar and that is Mm, restores up to 28% of MP, 60 points max. So it's not that much, but it's better mm -hmm. than nothing, right? Yeah, it's good in a pinch. Okay. Also, if I was on my bard, I, I may have been able to use uh, Mage's Ballad, which is which would uh, give you some mana back. Ah, okay, cool. So there are functions um, from other players, yeah. At higher levels, right. yeah. The other thing is with items, you have to keep in mind there's a cooldown timer on them when you use them. So once you oh. use it, I think you have to wait three minutes. minutes three minutes for this yeah, one, minutes. right? I see. You can see yeah. it there in the tooltip, folks. If you're wondering what that is, okay. Well, I think I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's see how you go. Same deal as last time there, Catella. Uh, yep. All right, good. I am ready, and I'm going to come and stand over here with you, Apollo. There we go. Now it says that something will be sealed off with it. Is that because the combat area is going to be sealed off? So no one else can That's get right. it? That's right. Right, okay. And of course that is to stop exploiting the game, if you're wondering why people do that. Same thing happens in DC Universe Online, in fact. Now again, I'm keeping an eye on this list down here where I'm wriggling my mouse, as well as keeping an eye on the heals and the health of Catella. I, if I heal too many times, each any of these rather will turn from green to yellow, and then from yellow to red. So in order to get that enmity down, unless I have an ability that can hide myself or drop, dump that aggro, as they like to say in WoW, dump yourself out of the aggro table, then I just have to wait. And of course that's a bit of a game because if I have to wait, Catella may need healing. And I've got to balance off. You can see she's gone down, down to a very low, there we go, half health already. So I'm going to quickly heal her, but I run the risk of pulling hate from that void soul counter. And I've got to decide, is it better to have Catella alive and me have hate? 
or should I try and have her at a very low risky health level and wait for that hate or enmity to dissipate. That's one of the balancing acts that you have to run as a healer. Looking very, very well. The Void Soul Counter here. I'm guessing Catella is the final boss for this second of four orbs, am I right? Uh, for the second one, yeah. There we go. And you can see the Void Soul Counter is nearly down. And Catella, you were definitely taking some big hits there, but congratulations, we made it through. And there's another treasure coffer. Let's open that up. The loot list has been updated, and look at that, it is an ethereal ash shortbow. I'm gonna pass, <coughs> excuse me, on that one. We've got ourselves an orb here. What do we do with this? Go ahead and click on it. All right, there we go. Click on the cultist orb interacting. And hopefully, the light of the cultist orb fades, and you can see in my quest tracker down here, we've got cultist orbs destroyed two out of four. So I'm guessing we're gonna do the same thing and head over, oh, so there are two orbs over there, are there at the, here we go, Apollo. This is where we need to end up. Two for one over there, the last part. That's correct. Okay, now I also notice though, Catella, not only do we have orbs, but my list here says that I have to get one of one, well I've got zero of one at the moment, cultist rosaries. What's that and where do we get that mm -hmm. from? Oh, that's coming up shortly. Okay, and why are there two other objectives here, which are just question marks? I don't get that. Uh, because as you go along, new objectives appear. So. Ah, okay. All right, well, I guess we'll stop filming here again and come back when we're next up near something exciting. Wish us luck, and we'll be right back. And welcome back, folks. Here we are. We're at the next boss level. We're still alive. Quite amazing. But look at me. I look like a Jedi Knight Merrick. I'm pretty awesome because I won a piece of loot. Well, I got a little bit scared in there because Merrick said to me, oh, that's going to be pink. <laughs> because look at this. It is looking pink on here when you actually hover over the icon. Very funny. But this is an ethereal cotton cow. Now, I can tell I've got a problem. I've got a technical issue with the game and I need your help. I had a hat on. I had a head piece and it was offering me protection and stats when I put this particular chest piece on my hat disappeared and no matter how many times I swap it in and out in and out my head piece keeps bugging and disappearing has that it's ever happened not to you? bugging that's it's because this is a one piece so it covers your head and your body oh so I see I knew that as well and I was just testing <clears throat> okay I didn't know that is that right so that's why it's called a body piece Wow, okay, that's good. Is there any other, I mean, are there ones that get rid of your trousers or something like that on a similar vein? Uh, well, actually tanking, like the one that Jinx has, yeah. is just a top piece and a bottom piece. So it's like his legs and feet and body and head piece. It's wow. just like two pieces. Wow, okay, all right, that's good. I mean, hey, saves you messing about doing them all individually, why not? All right, so you've pulled us up here. Where are we, Catella, and what are we gonna see uh, next? So I think we're on the third boss here. Okay, all right, ready when you are. And uh, this being much more, much more better, do you like my grammar there? Much more better a stat stuff than I did notice as we were healing and fighting a couple of mob groups back there that my ability to pull hate went up a little bit. Just, <laughs> I guess that's because I'm outputting more healing, am I? Yep. Okay. So let's have to be a little bit careful now. But I must say, folks, look at that. It looks just amazing. Definitely Obi-Wan Thrawn going on. That's right. Channeling some Jedi stuff right there. Beautiful. Well, we've definitely done very, very well so far. I think while we fight this boss and his associated cronies, probably a good chance now to talk about totally awesome points. So, Soundsy, I can see that you're there in the mumbles chat big hello to you again tp points here i've got a thousand of them apparently and as much as i'd like to think that they stand for totally awesome points soundsy what does it really stand for here in final fantasy 14. oh my gosh they don't stand for totally awesome points oh, ah i'm sorry to like bust your bubble there i'm sorry but apparently <laughs> they don't do you know uh they stand for tech points or technique technique points 
Okay, so what? Well, I mean, what are they? And how, I mean, I've already got one resource. You're not telling me that I have to manage two. I mean, I've got my hit points, I've got my MP, my mana points, or my mana pool, or my uh, magic points, whatever you want to call them. Isn't that enough? Why would I want to have another resource? Or is it a resource? Well, fortunately for healers, TP doesn't really come into it. Uh, so you really just have to manage your MP. But some classes, um, like Paladin, uh, have to balance both a TP pool and an MP pool. Okay, now apart from the fact that you sound awesome like a Cylon and a cross between a Cylon and Darth Vader, and I don't know if that's me or you, but it sounded awesome and I still completely understood you, so I want whatever it is you've got. Catella, he was talking there, Soundsy was talking about you having to manage TP, so how many do you have? Mm -hmm. Like, do, does that, I mean, I've got a thousand, which seems like a lot. I have like a, a thousand. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it, does it not matter? Does that never change, no matter what level you are? Uh, I believe it stays at a thousand. You just have to, uh, you have different like each skill you have takes a different amount right. and you do get some back over time but if you just spam everything all at once then you won't have anything to say take Kate back with or anything uh, else so is it fair oh hang on before I ask that question a BC a big hello to you in the chat room there says in the chat there I'm the only OB here and you know what you're absolutely right there is only one OB and it is you I'm sorry <laughs> even though I'm OB1 that is lesser than an OB so Catella TP does that mean you've got abilities that require them and if so is there a pattern to what those abilities are like are they class specific more often than not or are they unique or very powerful or something like that why have a separate resource pool uh, well i mean each each skill does something different like some some skills that i have are to gain hate some skills are to actually do damage right. uh, some skills actually are to replenish my mp because i can actually flash which takes MP as well and I can cure myself if I need to. Right, okay and they're not eating into your normal, hang on, I'm going to take a screenshot, look at that don't we look fine, not eating into your normal MP pool I guess, right? Right. Okay, but still, end of the day folks it means you've got three of these to balance and manage and uh, by the way Merrick, is there any way of replenishing TP quickly like I've got my ether here for my mana and of course if I really want to, in fact I should have it, here we go, potion potion is for replenishing my hit points I can have that as well, is there uh, you know, like TP in a bottle? Um, TP in a bottle I haven't, uh, that's a good question I, I haven't mm. personally come across it but some jobs actually actually allow you to regen TP like the bard has a song that allows it to regen TP from the for the rest of the party right and also dragoon has a um, really has an ability him. to regen TP right okay there we go so yet again you know it's the the rock paper scissors the synergy of the classes and if you come from a trading card background which let's face it even though they seem completely different on the outside it's exactly the same thing going on it's resource management and it's using the applicable skills to try and wring the most out of your particular deck or in this case character skill set that's why we love role playing games why we like trade card games and that's why we also love MMOs alright well Catella uh, enough babbling let's see all this in action yep. and uh, is there anything you need to explain here yeah this room is going to be a little tricky <laughs> oh, <laughs> just man. because there's a lot of mobs here um generally when i go with new parties in here this is this is seems like trickier than some of the boss rooms for some reason i don't wow. know why but um i'm gonna go ahead and take out the magic user in the back first and right. hopefully that'll help a bit and then uh we'll see how it goes okay all right well good luck folks it was nice knowing you all and uh <laughs> if you if you don't mind on my tombstone uh i would like either game over or uh, zero lives left. I've always wanted that. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You don't I'm want ready. pepperoni pizza? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, copious amounts of that as well, thanks, definitely. All right, let's see. Level 19, you can tell you can see they're targeting her. And I'm just going to, whoa, I was going to say I'm going to go easy, but she's already down to less than half health. So, hmm, I see what you mean. This is, wow. Now, if I go too nuts, though, we're going to get enmity. And, wow, I'm really struggling to try and keep you healed because they're taking big chunks out of you there Catella wow that hurt a lot didn't it they must be completely bypassing a lot of your mitigation buffs and skills right they must just be able to cut straight to the quick yeah. so to speak yeah not yeah. so much that as the sheer number of them right the 
vile amounts out of yeah, sure, and that's always dangerous. In fact, you know, I was playing Diablo 3 on the Xbox 360 the other day, and I was in a desert area, and these tiny little poisonous firefly bug things were flying around. I thought, ah, there's only five or six of them. They're tiny. What could they do? You know what? They add up, and they're a dot. They're a poison as well. I was dead in about two seconds and thought, you know what? I've got to avoid them in the future. Even though they're small, it's the whole numbers thing. Swarms of ants can, you know, carry you away, basically. You've got to be careful. I've died. I've died to those things several times in hardcore. Oh, oh no. Yes. Oh, that would be horrible. I hate those things, and you would hate them even more. Now, I've just noticed yes. up the top here, and just coming back to Final Fantasy XIV for a minute, the ethereal field protecting the cultist rosary. Oh, so wait a minute. We can grab yeah. this for my quest. Grab the there yep. we go. Thank you very much. That will be one out of one. You obtain a cultist rosary. Very happy about that. And very happy about the fact that we're in here because it looks amazing. Look at the lighting, folks. This is Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. Definitely in its glory. I love, love situations like this. And they've done such a great job. But there we go. So, yeah, we were talking about things in other games. But I just wanted to pull back because I noticed here we've got this thing called Limit Break up the top. Now, who's going to volunteer to explain limit break in Final Fantasy 14 to a complete idiot like me. I will. Great monkey. All right. <laughs> Good luck because I'm, a, I'm an idiot. So how does this all work? So the limit break is a shared attack amongst everyone in the party and um, depending on who uses it, it can be used for damage, AoE damage, um, a tank buff or a healing right. uh, thing. So hang on a minute before you go any further. Sounds very familiar to what is in Lord of the Rings Online in terms of the party moves that they have. Now, hang on. It's a fellowship maneuver. That's what they're called over there. And somebody will initiate it, and everyone can contribute to it and choose whether it's basically, just like you said, It's by the way, it's a very flashy, you know, over-the-top animation, really satisfying thing to pull off, and it will either be DPS, heals, or buffing, basically. Same deal? In, in this game, though... <coughs> It's the character that actually does it that determines what it's going to be. For like oh. me, I'm, mine's going to be a single target DPS move. Right. For for you, it would be a healing move. In which case, um, as with the bard, uh, if you use it when say everybody else is down except you, it will actually raise everybody. Oh, oh wow! If it's, if it's a level but, three one. If it's yeah. a level three one. Wow. Okay. Otherwise, it's a really big party heal. Right, yeah. gotcha. And it'll be AoE. Okay. All right. Well, look, safe to say, unless we get stuck, I'm not going to... Oh, wait, hang on. How would you actually activate that? Like, can any of us activate it and, or not? Uh, yeah, any of us can. If How? you go to your actions and traits, Yep. there's one oh, in there. Limit break button. Yep. Okay. I'll just pop that. Actually, I'm not going to put it next to my heel because I'll I put it someplace far away from everything else. Yeah, uh, yeah you, you, you don't want to be doing one. that one. Okay, let's uh, let's drop that over there. Maybe uh, actually, I'll put it down next to my. There we go. Alrighty. Well, I am ready now. What are we? Is this another boss, or are these mobs, or what's going on here? Uh, so this is the second to the last boss area. Okay. Oops, something just disappeared. I hope that wasn't me. No, nope, I did it. Okay. All right, ready when you are, Catella. You can see she's marking it. Oh, so we've got two groups here. So I'm guessing that what you're going to want to be doing is not pulling the second group unless they're... Li oh, oh, look at that. We hover no, over them. No, they're all going to link. Ow. Okay, so is this where some crowd control can come in handy? Can anyone sleep a mob or is that wrong game? It would come in handy, but we can't at this level, I don't oh, think. Okay. Um, none of us have the power to sleep. Okay, all right. So it's all on. Okay, this is going to be interesting. This could be the end of us. We shall see. And that's no reflection on my wonderful party mates. That's me I'm talking about. Anyway, I am ready whenever you are, Cat. Okay, I'm actually going to start from this side. I'm going to gather those on me first and then take them over there and try to flush them all so okay. that they're all on me at once, okay? All right, so that means I'm going to be really healing a lot at first. Uh, yeah, I'll try and heal myself some too to kind of help you out. All righty. Wishes luck. There you go. You can see she ran over there to get everything. And I need to move that back over there. There we go. I can see you're taking a few big hits there, Catella, but nothing like what I expected with so many hard-hitting mobs there. Two minutes left. Uh-oh. Two minutes left on Protect. 
That's terrible because I should have noticed that before opening up this fight and should have cast it prior to Catella engaging, but I think with the way my mana is at the moment, I'm just going to chuck in a sneaky one now, and that is not the thing to do, but there we are. Did it anyway, because we could afford it. And just a tanking tip for Gatil. I'm sure you've practiced and all that, but a good thing is don't tr try not to spam flash unless you really have to, and actually just rotate down the line of all the... rotate your combo through all the mobs, if you can. Oh, really? So you don't have to do that on... I mean, I was thinking about that last week, actually, Jinx. It's like, so you don't have to do them all on the one mob? Nope. Like I said, I focus target one mob and then I'll actually because I can quick swap out my filter to enemies only and then I'll just go down the group or move of my cursor around the group if you will and not uh, the circle the spinning circle will show up on different enemies and I'll do that one move on an enemy so I'll do for example at high levels my three move combo fast blade savage blade rage of Halone I'll do Fast Blade, Savage Blade on the first mob, switch to mob 2, do Rage of Halone, and then I'll kind of rotate that way. Right. Useful information there. Thank you very much, by the way. This is a Cultist Orb. So go ahead and touch it, and I'll touch go. the one over here. Okay, so that's three. That'll be four. There's a treasure coffer there as well. But before that opens, it looks like we've got ourselves a cutscene. summons me from the void to reside with it. Oh my lord, ew! What is that? I didn't even get a chance to... Ugh. You stop the flow of ether to the... You seem... Oh, what is he saying? You seem surprised. Did you not cross our gates in search of blood? This is Galvanth the Dominator. Come hither, children of the dawn. The undying master will drink deep tonight. Now, let's open this treasure coffer first. What do we got in there? A, oh, a hat. I'm going to need on that because that is so yep. much better than what I've got. Oh my lord. So let's need... Oh, hang on. Am I going to be able to actually wear it with my current... I mean, you know I've got this body part on here. So what happens, Catello? Am I not able to wear the hat? You can't wear it with this outfit, but you might be able to wear it with something else you get later, or maybe um, that other outfit that you were wearing before, you could wear it with that. Right, okay, good to know. All right, enough about fashion. Let's have a look around here, and I'm just going to... Can I sneak? I, I'm safe until I cross... Oh, look at the view around here. Right. Like, yeah, so we can go right up here, right? It's okay. Till we cross that line. Mm -hmm. there we go. Now, what sort of creature is he? He's got an octopus on his face. Where does that fall in the Final Fantasy lore? Is anyone able to tell me? You know what? I want to call him a soul flare because I think that's what they were called in 11, but I don't exactly know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds uh. like... I think in Final Fantasy Tactics they were also called Mind Flares. Mind like Flares, that. yeah. Yeah. And Soul Flares, they were both in 11, yeah. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Davy Jones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> From Pirates of the Caribbean? Absolutely, yeah. it does. All right, well, all I know is that he's got to go down. Now, is this the last boss, Catella? This is the last boss. And so this one actually has some actual mechanics to it. Okay. Uh, so there's throughout the fight, there's going to be little imps that spawn. Right. And um, he becomes invulnerable when they spawn. So we'll need to take out that. And that we'll t need to take them out. And that's usually DDs take them out. Right. And there's going to be other ads that pop up skeletons and everything too and I'll try and keep those on me um, but you guys will burn those down as well okay all right well you'll heal <laughs> now there we go I can see Owen Lacroix or Lacroix however I, look, I'm so sorry for mispronouncing your name probably week in and week out in the free company chat here it says Pisco Demon or Mind Flayer in Tactics there we go all right so got the hard line there coming in so there we go thank you very much owen for that info all right well Catella, i am as ready as i will ever be once by the way we cross this line do we get locked in so should everyone make their way in there or like is it possible to get locked out the outside it is possible to get locked out if you ow. don't come in during the time ow okay let's do it but that lock only the countdown only starts after you uh, aggro the bod oh okay all the right. boss 
No, no problem. All right, let's do it. I'm as ready as I will ever be, and you've all got protect for 24 minutes. I'm sure that's enough. Let's leap up the top. Actually, I won't leap up there because it's possible that I'll get logged. There we go. 30 minutes remaining, and of course, that is just a generic warning that's come out. Now, you can see there that Catella has quite possibly deliberately turned the boss away, right, Catella? Yep. And you can see it's locked off there in the background by that shimmery effect. Uh, if you look behind you, there's an imp that just oh. spawned. Oh, there is two. All right, so the guys and gals are going to go for that. Oh, yeah, look, he's linked to the main boss there, but you're taking that ad down as a priority, right, Catella? That's right. And there we go. Actually, a couple little tidbits that I found out while playing. Um, for TP users like melee DPS and tanks, I've noticed that you generate about 60 TP around every 4 to 5 seconds. So if a fight's really long and you're running out of TP, you can kind you can kind of gauge that way when you can when to stop doing combos and whatnot. Right, good idea. Um, as well, magic spells and TP skills are a little different. TP skills don't actually scale with level, whereas spells actually will. They'll cost more and more MP as you level most spells. Right. Very good point. Now, I noticed there there were a whole group of ads there, Catella, and you basically made a beeline for them, grabbing all of their attention, right? Keep them off us? Yep. Good stuff. Now, another thing I'd like to... Oh, now stay out of the fire there, I guess. That big red circle is going to be a big AoE attack. Of course, we know that. There we go. But how does Enmity work right now, Catella? In other words, is it generated only by the skills we are using? Or if I ran in there physically and just ran right through the boss, is that going to generate heat if I wasn't casting? Uh, right now, I think it's just skills. Right, okay. Good to know. And there's right. a whole bunch more. The double limit breaks up, so as soon as we get rid of these mobs, I'm going to go ahead and do the limit break. Actually, maybe I'll just do it now. Okay. That, oh, it won't work. We have to get rid of no, the... No, you got to Yeah, wait till you get rid of the amp. Right now, I want to make sure that we're watching you for that one right now, because it, presumably it's going to be a bit of a fireworks show. Yeah, you may want to scroll your camera out. Okay, let's do that. To be able to see all the effect. There we go. All right, keeping an eye on you. Oh, and staying out of the fire. Okay, here goes limit break. Alright. And there you go. Whoa! Look at that! That Whoa! And he took a massive hit. Oh my god, I've got to remember to keep healing Catella. Thank goodness whoever healed Catella just then, whether it was you, Catella, or someone else. But look at that. That looked absolutely amazing. Well done. And look at this cutscene. He's dead. And there we are. Duty is complete. Indeed, we are victorious. No deaths, save for the hundreds of mobs that we left lying on the floor in our wake. Merrick, I've got to say, do you think that was the killing blow? That was an incredible limit break. Amazing. Yeah, the uh, the Lancer and the um, uh, and the Monk are, in my opinion, probably the best two, the two best limit breaks. Yeah, they are incredible. And of course, if you've played other Final Fantasy games, you'll know all about Limit Breaks, I'm sure. All right, so there we go. That is, before we get on to a bit of a synopsis of what just happened, the treasure coffer. I think that, Apollo, you should open that up, maybe, and have a look at what's inside. Because I, right. it's, um, it's shiny, and I want to have a look as well. Here oh, we go. congratulations. An acolyte's robe. Ooh, oh, nice. That, oh, oh, that'll go oh, good with the hat. Oh, very good, yeah. yes. Well, look, I was just going to say, guys, I hover over it, and it actually says minus nine and minus 17 magic it's way worse than what but I've once got. you put the hat on it might not be okay so go yeah. ahead and knead on it okay we'll knead on that we'll bring up the armory and let me see here now oh well done so thank you guys you can also look like a pirate with that hat now really? yeah go ahead and put it on because okay. that's a nice set okay unable yeah, i actually to have that hat too okay so i'm going to unequip that unable to unequip insufficient oh. 
Good luck. Okay, let's, let's Yeah, we'll just put put something quickly. Now, what did I get there? The what did I actually win? Accolades from. Oh, it's already in my bag. There we are. Okay, actually, I'm just going to put both of these in my bag because it's a lot easier. Okay, let's try this now. Get rid of my armory chest. We've got the plundered cavalier's hat, and I need to turn on my hat for that. I think. There we go. Oh, that's really cool, isn't it? Looks like a pirate's hat. Oh, I like that. It's very, very stylish. Yeah. Oh, I'm assuming I've got the right one, actually. Have I? Plundered? Yep. Plundered Cavalier's hat. And it should go. have a green yes. background. It does. And the Acolyte's yep. robe. Let's pop that on. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Oh, no wonder you guys... Oh, do you know what? I don't care about stats. I look awesome. For me, anyway. That's amazing. Look at that. You've got it on there as well. That is fantastic. Congratulations to you. Now, I actually look like one of the characters that I see running around. I'm actually quite happy about that. That is awesome. Oh, my Lord. Okay, I'm slowly starting to fit in around here. Well, I couldn't have done it, of course, without you guys. That was amazing. Let's stand in front of this sparkly bit here because I think that'll make us look even more awesome. Success, folks. Here we go. Our second dungeon run in our Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn Let's Play series. My huge thanks go to Apollo. Thank you sir for all of the advice and tips throughout that and you didn't die you're welcome Merrick for My showing pleasure. us the limit break there the oh, outstanding finish that is just one way to go in a blaze of glory that was fantastic Merrick thank you as always for your help behind the scenes and for your tips in this run and of course for being such a great damage dealer Catella unbelievable I can't believe you hoodwinked me this whole time it was going to be you that was running this as a tank and may I say what a fine tank you are great things come in a little packages thank you of course for all of your help behind the scenes and thanks guys for making me look awesome i can't believe it people think i might actually know how to play this game that is great also very quickly I'd like to thank and give a big wave here this is for you guys in the mumbles chat room our good mate cutie mcsnuggles and jinx mcninja and Soundsy there as well really really appreciate your help this has been a bunch of fun but of course there's one more thing that we need to do i really want to show off my new gear Catella. Can I do that? Yeah, I think uh, we should go ahead and leave the dungeon. Take a take a quick look around because now we're going to leave. Okay. Right, and then you can look. show up. Oh, look at it. It looks awesome. All right, then I want to show off. I want to show off my gear to others. Can we do that? Yep, let's go uh, to this exit here. All right. Okay. Lord only knows where we're going to end up, but let's do it. Exit. Leave duty. Yes, indeed. Let's click that because everyone's left me in here all by myself back into a light party lord only knows what we're gonna oh my lord look what we've got here on the other side apart from my recommended quests that have come up here it looks like oh my lord we've got a welcoming party out here that looks to me as if it is the crazy folk from distant world g'day guys hello hello, hello. 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 now by the way not that i want to show off or nothing but uh, look at that jenna showing off as well trying to one up me play or oh, this look they're serenading me because will you take a look at me I have got some pretty fancy gear on. I can see Tigerhawk Rosebud in the chat there. What do you reckon? I think it's time for me to strike a bit of a pose. Do I look a bit flash? What do you think? Looking good. Looking good. <laughs> now, of course, what happened really was we went inside that door behind me over there. Then a whole bunch of, you know, crafters came out and spent the whole time behind a spinning wheel. And we made it sound like we were fighting monsters. And then when I came out, I was wearing what, you know, was made. So <laughs> there you go. That's what happens. Now, by the way, Tiger, have you got anything as awesome as this? I bet you you have it. Because this is awesome. So, so um, awesome. Well, well kind of. Kind of. What are you wearing? at the moment there she is back there oh, <laughs> you've what are you wearing hey, what class are you at the moment uh, well I'm just wearing my jogging outfit you know uh, of course because <laughs> exercise here is so important of course it is Do you know what else is important Catella and I happen to know before I go any further that it's somebody around here is their special day something that's very very important is the counting of the years and I understand Catella I could be wrong but there's a particular person around here called Sunny and I believe that that particular person is in the Mumble chat. Now, if they're in game here, for a start, Sonny, are you in Mumbles? Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? Now, you out here, I don't know if you're actually here or not. There's just a sea of names. Are you Sunny, at Tamtara? Sonny, come up here. 
Are they there? I can't see because there's too many people around here. Ah, yes. Now pop up here. Come up here with us if you don't mind because I just noticed you were wearing something there that Catella happened to be wearing. I'm going to get rid of my UI. Catella happened to be wearing something very similar at the beginning of the show, but tell us, what is that gear that you've got on? Because you look amazing. Uh, this is my dark light set. Dark light set. Now, how would somebody go about getting something like that? Um, you buy the pieces with tombstones of philosophy. Oh, now I think I've heard that before. Is that from a high-level dungeon or something? Uh, yes, the level 50 dungeons will give you those. Ah, level 50. All right, well, congratulations on getting that, by the way. What do you think of my outfit? I'm just going to do... Oh, look, here we go. Here's a pose for you. A bit flash, isn't it? It looks, eh? it looks pretty good, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is actually my first piece of awesome gear ever. So I'm very proud. Although well, you can see there that Apollo's already got it as well. So it's not that unique, but never mind. But, uh, Sunny... Sunny day. I understand that it's a bit of a special day for sunny day today. I have had a couple of little birds whisper to me that it is, in fact, your birthday. Is that correct? Uh, it might be, yeah. It might be. Well, you know what? You probably would have been better off saying it isn't because we have a tradition around here in Distant World, Sunny Day, and that tradition involves singing, and that tradition also involves blowing up people's speakers that watch our show and basically making all of God's little creatures just run away in fear and that's exactly what's going to happen now and it is all your fault for having a birthday so before we go any further i would like everybody to gather around with me here we go and we're going to all look at you put you on the spot sunny because this is your moment you are lucky you get to listen to out of tune flat out of lag people singing happy birthday you are welcome <clears throat> and i'm going to lead it off so i hope you've got your ears on and for those of you guys watching from home i hope you've turned down your speakers because boy you're going to need it here we go folks <clears throat> clearing our throat everyone's going to sing along with me happy birthday There you go. Is that your best birthday present ever or what, Sonny? Or a, oh, that a, was fantastic. It was I very sad. That. Well, you know what? You've got no chance of ever forgetting it. Not in a million years. On that note, folks, we are so far over time on this show. It is ridiculous. And I do apologize. As always, you can blame Tiger Hawk Rosebud if you're watching this in your lunch hour. Much as I love to say hello to everyone who's gathered here individually. We've got no time to do that today, although I can see a couple of names there. Sayo and Jenna, a big hello to you. Hina Sunflower, hello to you there as well. There's a lady in the background. Hi, lady. Are you there in the chat? Hello, hello. Hi, Hi good to see you. What have you been doing in game? What's your most recent achievement here? Mm, recently, I took uh, we I went with Rainy and Sunny into Bahamut's Coil. Oh, okay. I have no and idea what that is, but is it like in game, like hard stuff? Uh huh. Oh it's really God. exciting and it's um it's interesting. I encourage everyone to try and and. and try at least once before 2.1 comes up did you die that's all i'm asking did you die in there yes oh okay so <laughs> <laughs> right, well, you're not really painting, you know, if marketing was going to be your thing, mm, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I, you're not compelling me to go in there. Of course, we'd love to see that. And there's little Lyra Carlisle as well, which we know as Steph. Hi, Steph. Good to see you there. What did you think of my healing abilities in this run? Nobody died. Can you believe it? Hello. Yeah, you did good. Yep, I know. I did do well. That's That means nobody died on my watch in tanking and nobody died on my watch, Catella, in healing as well. Two for two. Yeah, Let's see if we can make it a hat trick. Obesity, I can see you over in the background there as well there's of course the crazy unicorn riding little pink guy cutie and who we got there Rakana. hi everyone look we've got to run Catella. what are we going to be doing next week um i think next week is the third dungeon in in this set right and uh that's called copper bell mines all right well what am i going to be doing there i've already done tanking already done You'll healing be tanking oh not again oh my lord okay well maybe we won't have a hat trick maybe this will be the one that everyone dies and not sure by the way jinx there on the side looking awesome thank you very much for all of your help and assistance as well and rainy are you there in chat yes hello hey rainy now you were running with lady i think is that right mm -hmm, yep all right so did you die oh yes i did unfortunately <laughs> many many times all right can't wait to see this 
high-end content. Hopefully, hopefully by the time we get there, I will be so awesomely well-trained that I can heal for you and no one will die yet, right, as if that will happen. That is it, folks. We need to get out of here. On behalf of everyone who came and joined us here, patiently waiting at the entrance to Tam Tara, thank you very, very much. And of course, thank you very much for your contributions to Distant World, our incredible community here that I'm so, so proud of. Don't forget, if you'd like to join that, all you need to do is go along to the link down in the description below, which is distantworld.engine.com. Apply there. And of course, if Catella likes you, you'll get in. No, it's not like that at all. We have all of our offices go through those applications. We'd love to see one come through from you if you're watching along from home. My thanks also to everyone who joined me in the mumbles and to all of my wonderful party members who really made this run fun. It's us saying take care. I hope you guys are having a great week wherever you are in the world. We do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then. And bye-bye. 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 Goodbye. Later, all. <laughs>